The Forsaken Fortress is the first dungeon of the game. I rate it 4 out of 10 because it's pretty hard. Um, going through all the searchlights and sneaking with all the barrels and stuff. Um, I think it's actually harder than the next two, uh, dungeons. So we have one new item, one heart piece. We don't have any treasure charts because you don't know what that is yet. Um, the boss, we do not fight until the second time we go. Hint, hint. Um, we have three new enemies, so that's about it. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near that landing. Hmm. What do we do now? Okay, I hate that look on her face. That creeps me out. What are you gonna do to me? Oh crap. What, what, what are you gonna do? What are you doing? Oh, that sucks. You're gonna catapult me. Oh god, please don't. No. Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. I'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Three, two, one. Oh, man. Dang! <laughs> I love how they're just waving at him. Goodbye! Ooh! Dang! Ooh, there goes our sword. And where is it gonna land? Oh, right there. Of course. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Stupid surface tension. <laughs> okay. This is where we are. The Forsaken Fortress. Just, just the feeling about this place wants to make you whisper for some reason. Okay. We're finally in. Let's go. Of course we get interrupted. You're still then all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. Heh heh heh, the look on your face. Priceless. <laughs> I love the reference on the commercial. <laughs> I just love that line. Hehe, <laughs> I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's not ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A, you better press that button. Please don't. Well, if it's the first time playing your game, I would, but if you've been playing it, I know it from experience, I think you should not have pressed A. Okay, let's go. You'll see stairs up here and more stairs. If you look right there, there's some spotlights. If you get caught by those spotlights, you will die. Yeah, Nikihika reference right there, if you, nobody knew that. Um, so yeah, you will get caught and thrown in jail. Let's just say it's bad news for you. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm not going to risk getting those red rubies, because if you get caught right here, you can't get a piece of heart in this area. So, what we're going to do is we need to go up on that staircase right there, which is really hard because there's other spotlights. And if I get caught, I'll have to start this recording all freaking over. Oh, crud. Okay. It's, it's timeless. I'm going to take my time and not screw this up. Okay, so that one goes around. This goes up here. Okay. I know I'm gonna wait here, cause I know there's a person right there. Yep. And let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. Okay, we made it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is come up this ramp right here. And I should be whispering because we're in a fortress and we don't wanna get caught. So if coming over here, there's no ladder, but coming up here, you can get on this ladder. And yeah, I'm whispering. Do not hit the A button. Just walk up the ladder. Just walk up the ladder. Okay, coming up here, um, you'll see that there's the guy searching the searchlights. And the way to kill him, since you don't have your sword, is you can either kill him by doing this. There's the Bako Boblin. And yes, once you start in combat, the lights don't moving anymore. So this is the other first way to kill him. 
is to hold out your shield, and when he hits it, his thing will go flying, and you can go grab his sword. Or you can just smash this pot over here and break and get it. But for right now, I think I just want to hit him, joy, with his own stick, pay with his own pain. Joy! God, die. I should target him, yeah. Die. Die! Oh, flying back at your post. Word, dude, word. Okay, so yes, let's get this. These pearls will appear throughout the game. Uh, bigger, like, enemies, not usually Baco Baldwin's. When you hit them, hit them. God, hit it. Things will go flying around, and then you get money, and you'll be wondering what that thing is right there. It's actually a joy pendant actually um we're going to get another joy pendant in this forsaken fortress but i knew we we're probably going to get one from this goblin so yeah um joy pendants aren't really that worth it so now we're going to go back down the ladder and we are going to go down here okay let's go over here open the door Yay, I love opening doors, don't you? Yes, you probably do. If you don't, you better. Okay, so now what I want to do is... Wanna, is this the place? Is this the place? Yes, it is. Okay, so you're going to think I'm crazy, but we want to come down here. And behind these barrels is a switch. When we press the switch, the door opens. And, oh, freaking rat die. Oh, well, I can't, because I don't have a sword. Okay, so when we come in here... We get an awesome chest, the same kind that we got the spoils bag. So we get heart piece, or t piece of heart number one. Okay, so since I'm doing 100% of the game, I'm going to get every single heart piece. So at the, by the end of the game, we're going to have a full two rows of hearts and it'll make it a lot easier. So coming over here, um, what you want to do now is... um. For now, right now, we're not going to do this, but you would hide these barrels and they will see you. Those are actually a new enemy. They're called Moblins, I think. Just Moblins. Um, but for right now, guess what? We're going to get caught! Yeah, you probably think I'm crazy, but yes, let's get caught. And when we get caught, we get thrown in jail, of course. Okay, so, um... I bet the flashing A is going to be here somewhere, but huh, apparently not. Okay, the way to get out of here is you just pick up that pot right there and throw it, smash it, out, and crawl behind here. Nice way to conceal a way to get out with a pot. A gigantic pot on top of a dre empty dresser is not suspicious. Okay, so the reason we wanted to do that is it's easier to get back up to where we want to. Um, so, yes. Coming over here, we're gonna open this chest! And we get the dungeon map, yay! The green areas are the ones you've visited, the flashing area is your current location. To the floor and view other floors. Okay, so this will become useful. Now, what we wanna do is come over here or out here whatever and we have to be quiet again because we're in a fortress and coming over here the flashing a will start again stupid tetra and um and we're gonna go fail come freaking can't get the freaking on there there we go <laughs> um um we're gonna climb up this awesome ladder here.